Hi everybody! Today's tutorial is kind of fun. I took one eyeshadow look and then I show you at the end of the video how to use it with lots of different shades of coral lipstick. So that's why I don't have any lipstick on right now because at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to use three different levels of intensity to kind of give you different looks with the same eyeshadow. So I thought that would be fun. It kind of gives you options if you only want to buy enough eye makeup for one look or if you're just a low maintenance kind of girl and you don't want to learn how to do a ton of different looks, this works out really well. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you guys in like one minute in my past because I already filmed it. The first thing I'm going to take is Laura Mercier Eye Basics in the color Flax and this is to prime my eyes. This is a new eyeshadow primer that I'm trying out and so far I really like it. Then I'm going to take the eyeshadow wedge with my MAC 224 brush. This is a really nice neutral color that I'm going to use as a crease color. I'm just doing really long strokes back and forth all over my entire crease. And this is just going to give my eyes some definition before I go in with a really shimmery lid color. So we're not going to use a ton of this, but we're just going to blend it so it looks very natural. Using a clean blending brush, I'm going to go around the edges of the wedge just to make it even more natural looking. And you want to pick a color that's a couple shades darker than your natural skin, but a similar tone, and you want a matte color for this. So for me, for Fair Skinned Girls, Wedge by MAC is perfect for this. For the lid, I'm going to use my Chanel Whipped Eyeshadow in Emmerville. This is my favorite eyeshadow right now. I have been using this every day, and it's nice because it's very versatile. You can wear it and create a lot of different looks. So I'm just applying this with my ring finger all over my lid. And the reason that I put the crease color on first is because a lot of times if you do a lid color first, the crease color can actually blend away a lot of the lid color. And the lid color isn't quite as true as it would be if you put the lid color on second. And since this is my favorite color and kind of the color that I want to be a little bit more accentuated, I like to put it on after I have the crease color in place. For my brows, I'm going to use MAC's 266 brush with MAC Omega Eyeshadow, and I'm going to use this to just fill in my brows where it's needed and also extend the end of my brows. I'm just doing tiny light-handed strokes to actually imitate little hairs, so this is going to give the most natural look. Then taking Max Tissue Weight eyeshadow with the same 217 brush that I used earlier, I'm going to use this as my highlight color. So I'm just going to place this right under the brow to kind of lift it. For my liner, I'm going to use Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencil in Demolition, and I'm going to use this on my waterline and also on my top line, just right in between the lashes to give my lash line a more full effect. And then using the same brush that I used for my eyebrows, I'm going to smudge up the liner. I'm actually placing my brush right on the liner, and then I'm kind of just pulling it upward to smudge it and blend it out. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with my lash curler from Chanel. And then I'm gonna use my Fairy Drop Scandal Queen Mascara. I'm going to add a little bit of color to my face by using MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Deep. I use this as my bronzer along with MAC's 134 brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit of this on my brush and put this where the hollows of my cheeks are. I like to kind of concentrate it right in the hollows of my cheeks and then do the 3E on my face to kind of give a nice wash of color all over my entire face. Then for a blush color, I'm going to use Max Blush in Well Dressed, which is a gorgeous baby doll pink. And I'm using my Chanel blush brush for this, and I'm going to put this on the tops of my cheekbones. For a highlight color, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I love this. This has been my go-to highlighter for a while now. And I'm using my new Laura Mercier Fan Powder Brush. I got this because I was using a highlight color every single day, and I was just applying it with an angled blush brush. But this is really what you're supposed to apply highlight powder with. So I picked it up to try it, and I really like it. I just sweep the brush across the powder like that, and then I sweep it on the tops of 
my cheekbones and I kind of pull it down because I like a lot of highlight. I have really dry skin so anything to make my skin look more luminous and dewy. I like using this brush a lot because it has such a nice soft touch to it that you don't get too much highlighter on your cheeks and you don't look overwhelmed. And I'm also going to put a little bit of this highlighter right down the center of my nose right in the middle of my forehead and right in the middle of my chin. And that's where the sun would naturally hit me. So it makes sense to put a little bit of a highlight color in those areas. I'm gonna set my face makeup by using Chanel's pressed setting powder with their powder brush. And I'm just going to set my T-zone because I don't really get oily elsewhere on my face and I don't like the effect that powder over liquid foundation gives. I think it can look a little cakey. So I only use setting powder where I feel like I need it. For my lips, I've been loving coral lately, so I'm going to show you three different levels of intensity with coral lipsticks. The first one is the lightest coral that I have, and this is YSL's lipstick in number 102, and this is a Volupt Pearl, so it has a really nice shimmery finish, and when the light hits it, it's just a beautiful spring, very beachy color that looks amazing with this eyeshadow combination. So I'm going to put this on first, and then I'm going to show you how you can bump it up to to a medium intensity and then a bright coral. So this is a very light creamsicle orange. It's definitely on the nude side and it's very, very wearable. You could go much heavier on the eyes and still get away with this coral. This is YSL's Rouge Volupt in number 30 and this is my favorite lipstick right now. I love this. It's not a pearl so it doesn't have that shimmer to it, which I do like in this first color, but it is a more vivid coral than this color, which is more of a light creamsicle. So I'm actually just going to apply this over the Volupt pearl. This on its own is beautiful as well, and I've worn this in quite a few videos recently. You can see right away that this color is a much brighter, more vivid coral. And then the brightest coral of the bunch is a NYX lip gloss that I recently picked up at Ulta, and this is in the color Lala, and it is a really pretty corally pink. This one is a little bit more pink toned, and it is really beautiful layered over both of the first two lipsticks. So I'm going to apply this on top of the other two lipsticks now. If you are looking for a more pink toned coral, I would go for this, or if you're looking for a more orange based coral, YSL makes beautiful ones. Out of the three looks, I think the second one, number 30 from YSL, is my favorite, but all three of them goes really well with this eye makeup, so it's kind of showing you how you can take one everyday eye look and switch it up a lot with your different lip colors and give it totally different looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had fun making it. I love corals. This is like my favorite thing to wear on my lips lately. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye.